Hello everyone, I'm Corb Lindquist with ReadyMade Web, and I'm going to show you today how to generate a sitemap in WordPress. So here's ReadyMade Web, and I've uh, disabled our sitemap for now, but uh, we're going to go ahead and reinstall it. So let's go into the back end of WordPress. I have that open in another tab here in Firefox. So here's all the plugins we have installed. If I just click the Add New button at the top, this is the easiest way to install a new plugin. Of course, you can always search the uh, WordPress site under Extend and go down to Plugins and search around for everything, but I think we're going to use the easy way right now. So here I just search for Google XML Sitemap, and you can see it comes up right here at the top. So I go over here to the right and click Install. It's going to pop up, and here we go. Let's install this right now. Okay, well that's going. I'm going to show you a couple other things you need to do to get this plugin to work. This plugin is going to write two files, a sitemap.xml file and a sitemap.xml.gz file. A GZ stands for gzip. It's a common way of zipping a file up or compressing it, so it makes it uh, smaller and therefore a lot faster uh, for sites like Google, for example, to download. So. The, uh, the sitemap plugin is going to generate these files, or will try to on its own, but if your WordPress blog is set up the right way, your root directory shouldn't be writable. So, by creating these files manually, I've just created them in another folder here on, the, on my desktop machine here. I'm going to drag them over to the folder I have my site located in. I'm going to grab my FTP client over here, take those files, and upload them into the root directory. Now these are totally blank files, but once they are there, I should be able to write over them with the uh, with the new plugin. So I've activated that plugin. Now we should find its menu under settings, all the way at the bottom here, XML sitemap. So when we open this up, this menu looks a little differently because I've already had this installed and it has, uh, has a few entries already in the database. Uh, but what it would tell you when you install it initially is you have to build the sitemap manually. For the first time you have to click a link. So let me click rebuild the sitemap manually. And you'll see it's, uh, it takes a little bit of time to do this and it will take longer depending on the size of your site of course. The more entries the longer it will take. But there are just finished up. The process took 10.14 seconds. It gives you all sorts of fun stats like that. Uh, and the sitemap is there. Now often you'll get an error saying that there was an, uh, a problem while notifying ask.com. Usually if you hit view result it'll tell you that the sitemap was accepted. Uh, ask is a little finicky about it from time to time. Um, they're a smaller search engine. They probably don't have the capacity to easily accept things like Google and Bing do. Uh, do. So uh, I wouldn't give it uh, too much thought but uh, do double check and hit view result uh, when you do submit things. So now your uh, your sitemap is generated, and if you check your, your on your FTP client, you'll see there are your sitemap files. One is uh, about 7K. One's about one and a half. Looking good. And from here on out, uh, your sitemap will generate automatically as you update the content on your site. Uh, and we'll be submitting to Google, Yahoo, and Bing. So, enjoy.